Hello everybody. Today we are going to be learning how to make a simple drawing game on Scratch. So I'm just going to call my project drawing game. Um, so we're going to just start from a new empty project and we are going to just get rid of the cat. Um, so here's what we're going to do. So we're going to be making our drawing game. Uh, we're going to have a few different things. So first thing you're going to want to do is in the bottom left over here you are going to want to click on this and then click on pen and so this will uh this will put the pen extension into your project um so once you have the pen extension go ahead and just create a new sprite and choose paint and then we will just call this pointer for now you don't need to do anything you don't need to have any kind of costume just as long as you have this um we're gonna call it pointer and before we start coding what we're gonna do is we're gonna say when flag is clicked forever and we are going to have it go to go to go to random position but we're gonna have it go to mouse pointer okay and then go down to the pin blocks down here and what we can say is if we grab this pin down, when we run this, it will follow the mouse and draw. So already we kind of have a drawing game here, but we are going to make it do a lot more. So when flag is clicked, go ahead and erase all. And instead of just doing pin down, we, we will do this. We'll say if, and then we'll say if mouse down. Then we will set our pin down. And so what this will do, um, that's not right. Something is not right because, um, okay, I know what it is. I know our problem. So here's what we'll do. We'll do if, then, and else. Okay, so we'll say if mouse down, then we will set our pin down. And else, we will do pin up. All right? So what this will do is nothing will happen unless we, you know, click or tap on the screen and drag. So as you can see, now I can actually write words like hi and create a smiley face. Um, so already, there we go. Those are pretty much the basic controls. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to have different colors so what we can do is this go ahead and create um okay in the backdrop i'm going to have down here a little panel that will have different colors for your, the user to click on and then over here i'll just have like you will see this will be to increase and decrease the pin size so you'll see how it works so go ahead and create a new sprite and just do a circle and we're going to make it red so just going to make it red be a small circle and i'm just going to place that in here for now i'm just going to do red green and blue so for this i'm going to call this sprite red we can say when this sprite is clicked, we will set pin color to red. So let's see if that works. So if we click that. Okay, so it does not work, and let me tell you why. So each sprite uses its own pin. So it's currently setting the pin color for the red sprite to red. So what we can actually do is instead we can broadcast red. We can broadcast red. Um, and then if we go to pointer, we can say when I receive red. And then we will set pin color to red. So now when we run this project, we can click on red. And there we go. There we have it. So now we're just going to duplicate this. And we will do the exact same thing, but with blue. So if we click on that, I'm going to change this over to blue. And then instead of broadcasting red, we can broadcast blue. 
and I'm going to go ahead and change the name of the sprite to blue. And then let's do the same exact thing and make it green. And of course you can add your own colors or do any of those things. Uh, so I'm going to say green. I'm going to call this green. And then we will broadcast green. And so in our pointer, we can say when I receive blue, and we'll set the pin color to blue. And then we can say when I receive green, and we will set the pin color to green. And so if we look at the project, it does exactly what we want it to do now. So we have three colors, red, green, and blue. Um, but let's create another sprite. We're going to paint and just go to text here and do a plus. And I'm going to just make it black. So we're going to do a plus. And that plus is going to go here. And what we can do here is we can say when this sprite is clicked, and we will broadcast size up. And then go ahead and do the same thing, just duplicate that and change this to a minus. And what we can do is we can say when this sprite is clicked and we will broadcast pin, wait, size down. So we did size up and size down. And go ahead and put the minus right over here. And now in our pointer, we can say this. We can say when I receive pin up, or size up, when I receive size up, and go to your pin box, and we can say change pin size by one. And just go ahead and right click and duplicate that and say when I receive size down. And we will change our size by negative one. So let's see if that works. So by default, by default, this is the size of the pin. If I click on that, let's see you can see that the size of the pin starts to increase. And if we click this a bunch of times, there you can see that the thickness of our pin is increasing a lot. And you can start drawing a lot more things, like a simple cube. Um, and then the same will go for when you click the minus, the pin size will decrease. So that is really it. That is how you can create a simple pin game on Scratch. Uh, a drawing game, I should say. Um, so if you guys... Uh, hopefully this helped you guys to create a drawing game on Scratch. Um, and if you have any suggestions for tutorials that you would like to learn, just leave them down in the comments and I will definitely consider working on them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.